Hello everyone, I am Pyrofalcon and this is Evil Genius 2. In the last episode we had one hell of a security scare. Luckily it's over with now and we've got firearms and 40 guards to try to contain any additional problem. In the meantime we are working on the Aperture Science side quest just for the loot and just for the completion. So let's continue that as well. It's time to do some testing. The alpha test requires pushing your test subjects through a myriad of cunning contraptions. Can you conquer the complex conundrums conjoining before your very eyes and qualify for the next round? Side story begun. Your first task is to collect some willing test subjects to aid your inevitable victory. There's word of opportunity on the world stage. Or simply recruit some snooping agents. Okay. I remember when I did this in the first run, I connected my jail with the Aperture Science testing dealy do. I sort of can't do that with the way I've arranged things. But what I could do is add a door here. Because if I don't... You know what, if I'm doing that anyway, I'm going to just seal this off. Um, I'm going to, what this does is it risks the agents of good finding my Aperture Science thing before I can stop them. Because here they come now. Here comes a few jerks as it is. Um, yeah, good. And I know the Aperture Science devices are hot, so that would just make them really upset with me. But... I think it's worth the risk for now. Let's make that a level two. Because um, once we finish the side quest, I can even tear down all the Aperture Science stuff in the first place. And I won't need it. All right, anyway, collect test subjects. Well, I mean, I may as well capture the jerks who were here. So... Can I capture tourists? It's too bad I can't capture tourists. I will kill this one. Only if I must. see. I don't know how wise of an idea that was, actually. Well... I mean... Yeah, okay, here comes a few people. Alright. Yeah, this is fine. So we need ten test subjects. So, at once? Oh man, I'm gonna have to expand my jail. Yeah, I don't remember if I need all ten at once. It looks like the other guard I grabbed, Carol Toots, just is not gaining any morale back. I'm gonna go ahead and release her and we'll see what happens. This will make at least a little bit more room for more potential prisoners. Meanwhile, I suppose I'll head to the world stage and capture some this way as well. Provided I see where I have opportunities to do so. I don't see any opportunities, huh? Well, this is fine. I have patience. The test subjects will come to me. I think I have a solution to my problem. I was just alerted that we've finished the staircase tack. I'm going to see if I can make a staircase here. Yeah, that doesn't invalidate the interrogation chair, or the, yeah, the interrogation chair. So now, uh, all right, just for the sake of getting something, let's do that and then get our staircase. Yes, and then we can go upstairs. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to dirt this off. Has succeeded. I guess while I have just some space here, let's also add a couple fire extinguishers just in case. Okay, so then upstairs, we're going to move the testing chamber up here. So let's expand this a little bit. Okay. Now, we need 64 tiles-ish of testing chamber, so eh, 10 by 10, it's 100 tiles. A scheme has succeeded. And then back down here, we'll grab the door, we'll bring that upstairs, and then we will shut down 
the aperture science room here. Perfect. Okay. So I can also start working on the second floor. There's a ton of space up here. Just a flip ton of space. Oh, I see. And there's a little hidden ramp here. Ooh, interesting. So if I dig that out, I can basically have a little elevator over here. Interesting. I don't know if it's worth doing that, but that's something to think about. Wow, I can tap almost all of this space right now. Captured. This is amazing. All right. So anyway, uh, once we get that worked out, I don't know how I'm going to segregate people yet, but having the scientists on the second floor really makes a ton of sense because that'll keep them out of danger. I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I'm even questioning myself here. With all of this space to work with, I mean, this is fantastic. We'll move the laboratory here. Like so. And then... Uh, Pyro, hit the speed up music. This is gonna take a moment. that's going to take even with the time uh the the uh time compression hopefully you enjoyed my speed up music holy crap okay so what i did in case that nonsense wasn't clear is i'm moving all of the scientist stuff upstairs that includes the laboratory and all training for the for Really? Warning. Not enough power to power this build order. Okay, we can expand our power grid Not a little bit. To complete this construction. Karen, I'm hearing a lot of problems from you and not any solutions. So I think you need to button it. Alright. But yeah, so if we can bring everything upstairs and segregate the scientists at least away from everybody else it will keep them out of danger you may have noticed i put down some science beds up here the only thing that's missing is science food i don't think i can even get that technology yet anyway let's check the layer real quick yeah i'm not seeing it 
Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's fine. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out eventually. Um, we'll get it eventually, I should say. I could set up a food supply up here. I mean, having something is probably better than having nothing. But the point is, we want to make sure all of the minions, all of the science minions needs are cared for upstairs and keep them away from any sort of danger or anything else. This is definitely kind of a long-term project, very expensive, kind of heavy on power, but this will keep them safe or safer and it'll give them a place to go and out of everybody else's way. Because also, right now this means that my scientist minions, when they get tired, they take up the same beds as my muscle minions and everyone else. And we want to kind of try not to have that happen. So I just noticed that there are saboteurs coming? Not enough gold to complete oh, this construction. piss off. We'll have enough money. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start doing missions on the world stage to get some cash. And we should have all of that stuff built very soon. There's the willing test subjects. I'm not willing to... Yeah, alright. I was gonna say I wasn't willing to give up ten guards for that, but... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not willing to give that much up. Wow. I mean, another ten scientists now. It's not worth it. So instead, we're just going to collect some money. And for the rest of our test subjects, I can start grabbing these agents who have infiltrated my lair. Well, I found the saboteurs. They're up here destroying all my science gear. Clearly, they know what uh, what's going on more than my minions do. Item has been destroyed. So we need to get some fire extinguishers ready upstairs. They're all in disguise. I've the I've got. Yep, yeah, there she is. Okay, I was gonna say I've got Polar on the way to try to fix that, but now I kind of need her to you know not get involved in this. Well. Maybe. I mean, I guess she could help out. Let's see. Alright, so yeah, they're not doing any damage to her. Okay, she'll be okay. Alright, well, we got that controlled, but the problem is they managed to blow up all of my science stuff. So, ironically, by giving the order I did to start this move, that has just caused the problem that I've gonna have to spend hundreds of thousands to restore all my science gear. <sighs> so it goes sometimes. Alright. At least that'll be four more jerks that I've got. Yeah, see, there it goes. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay. They're, they haven't been extinguished, Karen. They've simply burned out. Alright, what is my current science project? None. What science project do I want? I mean... There's nothing I really need immediately. So, I guess we're gonna start the restoration here by slapping down some more whiteboards. Starting from scratch. What with the science and such? Has been and How annoying. But this is fine. We'll just keep... I'll just do all the whiteboard techs now. Since there's nothing I need immediately. And once those are done, we'll build an impact analyzer, do those, and then do the next thing. Unless I need something else in the meantime. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. Ah. Uh, this is somehow all your fault, John Steele. I mean, you might be dead, but I'm still gonna blame you for things. I only just realized I can adjust how hot the space heater is. That's good to know. Alright. So, we're having a bunch of fires happen now because shit's breaking. Which also has not helped. We don't have enough techies on standby, I guess. So I've increased our number of techies to 25. Hopefully that's going to fix things. We do have techies moving around, but we just don't have enough of them 
in the field, as it were. Yeah, lots of fires. Lots of fires. I kind of assumed that part of the reason there were so many fires was because of the... Oh, is it because they're too hot? Yeah, that's what it looks like is going on. Hmm. Alright, well, can I cool this stuff down what with the cold and such? I think I'm going to need a second to figure that out real quick. Well, after trying that out, it's not going to happen. It's just, it's going to be that hot because of the nuclear power plants. That's interesting. That, um, that gives you a risk reward for having nothing but nuclear generators then if they make that much heat and they destroy each other so often. Yep, there goes another one. I mean... If my techies would have kept up with it, I think it would have been fine. But they haven't had a chance because we haven't had enough techies. So I'm going to further guard my butt and we're going to get 40 techies. And we're going to see how well that works. That might be a bit of an overcorrection, but I would rather overcorrect now and see how things go than risk all of this garbage happening. Yeah, it's gonna... Alright. Yeah, so the techies, I mean, they're trying. They are working on it. I don't think the machines are g catching fire because they're too hot. I think they're catching fire because the durability goes down so fast because it's hot. See what I'm saying? The heat is the indirect issue rather than the direct issue all right i think we're under control now looks like only these four remaining power plants are damaged or are sparking so how many techies do we have we have 29 okay so i think 30 will be all right even that might be a slight overcorrection, but that's fine. And then I just saw we have soldiers on the way, plus there's still this mess happening. Oh god, we have so many uh, willing test subjects and no more jail cells. Alright, we need to do the alpha test. I'm going to slow down while I figure this out. Um, oh yeah, the delivered cube seemingly has no clear way of being opened. Get your scientists to work... Uh, in breaking through its tough exterior and the gooey chewy center. So yeah, we, we've picked up the quest for that and we have a companion cube here. So we need to deal with that. Let's get four... Oops. Four data banks. There we go. And by the time this research project is done, the four data banks should be ready to go. I guess there's combat happening down there. Yeah. Okay, those soldiers didn't make it very far. Excellent. Probably thanks to all of our people with firearms. Okay, I do believe the security situation is fixed now. We just need to keep getting money. Yeah, well, he's he's not going to stay escaped for long. Don't worry, Karen. Incredible. These contraptions are beyond belief. But what do they do? Who cares? Let's test them. Well, if you'd just like to step this way, I can show you firsthand. Last time I trusted you, I ended up with night vision and a rash. That might be worth the rash to have permanent night vision. I promise there'll be no side effects. This is nothing like the Ration Juicer 1000. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. I probably laughed just that hard the first time. I've got the cube. Is it, was it, an ice cube? <laughs> Uh, it has no clear way of being open. Get your scientists. Yeah, we did that. Okay, we need to interrogate 
an agent using science panel alpha. Right. That's just the pushy do. Not very complicated. But that's fine. We've all got to start our sciencing somewhere. <laughs> An interrogation has succeeded. We have more intel. It shouldn't make me laugh that it was simply the panel popping out and smacking him to the other side of the room. But it's still pretty funny. Alright, one agent down, four to go to finish the testing. You know, now that I got rid of the laboratory from An this floor, I can move the, uh, the, the inner sanctum over there now. So I can keep my henches close by. I don't know how big that room is, but it's so much larger than I think it is. Um, Alright, let's do that, and then we move this. We move it over here. One, two. One, two. And... Two, three, four, and then we dirt up everything else. One, two. One, two. There we go. That way I can keep Jubei close. And I don't have to scroll across half the base when I want everyone to heal. Everyone being the henchman and uh, our girl here. Alright, anyway. Combo Aperture Multipurpose Science Panel Alpha with Repulsion Gel Alpha. You got it. I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna... I'm moving a little faster with this than I did the first time. Just because it's not new to me anymore. But I really enjoy the Portal DLC. It's cute. Even if it doesn't really add much to your base, it's really funny. And as we all know, the unofficial channel motto is if it makes pyro laugh he'll probably do it as i'm continuing to work on my testing i keep getting investigators arriving from this side of the base so i'm going to need to start setting up security cameras and the auto tagger i wonder if the auto tagger let's see what if i auto tag even though i can't do the capture what if i just auto tag that whole hallway to bring them over to the casino, at least that would keep them out of my way. With the alpha phase complete, just the beta phase stands between you and victory. We'll do it. With the alpha test out of the way, the beta phase can commence. Complete the requirements of each test to see who will claim victory. Success. We have progressed to the next stage of the competition. Wonderful. What did we win? More contraptions to test. Hooray! Test the firepower of the Sentry Turret Beta. You got it. Um, I forget how I did this the last time. I think... I did the bounce and then had... the turret just attack? Maybe? I think that's how I did it. We'll figure it out. My current objective with Aperture Science is I need to have the sentry turrets do a little shooting. And I forget how I did this the last time. Um, so I noticed that this particular route has a lot of, of my minions walking through. You know, sometimes sacrifices must be made for science. And uh, we're going to set up a little... Little, uh, a, a little side room here. <laughs> Alright, since we have someone coming by, let's see if this works. Alright. Well, this is working out really well. <laughs> I mean... We're doing science. We're certainly learning what the turrets can do. <laughs> the, 
There are times where I really wonder what my life is, what with doing this show and such. But all I know is, it makes me laugh really hard. And at the end of the day, isn't that the most important thing? Oh good, the first super agent has made their appearance. Agent X is watching me. Which, great? Um... Oh, that was enough to get you to come to me? You dickhole. Alright, we'll disrupt his team, at least. Well, Agent X is not a massive threat. You would think that Wrecking Bola would have showed up by now then, too. Maybe it's just because I don't have a level 2 network in Africa. Agent X shouldn't be too bad. We've got enough jail cells to accompany his team, so... This... This will be fine. Yahoo! The testing was a resounding success, and once more, we have won the Invitational. We have been told to expect a delivery within 12 to 14 days' time. How exciting! I hope it's not a potato. All the portal references. You dominated the Invitational and should expect your prize within 10 to 14 working days. Great. Oh, one more. You've won a cryptic reward that must be researched to unlock its full potential. It is full potential. The science community is not happy. They have sworn to attack if you start the research. It seems the whole mad science community is a bit unhappy about us winning the Invitational. How unhappy? We received a letter. It says, if you start your research, We'll come over there to test a hypothesis about a human's resistance to high-velocity impacts. I mean, given that all of our muscle minions are now packing heat, I'm okay with that research. It's just not gonna go the way they think it's gonna go. Interesting. We could lend them the impact analyzer. Ah, I think it's meant to be a threat. They signed it. Yours threateningly, the scientific community. Yeah, good luck with that. Start research. Okay, what do I need for the research? Impact analyzer, the one thing I don't have. All right, let's get that built. I don't know why I had forgotten what the next thing must be, but obviously it must be the portals themselves. What the hell was I thinking? Your lair is under attack from disgruntled nerds. They will not stop until you finish your research. Quickly, to arms. Okay, we're going to move Polar up here, and she can help prioritize everybody, what with the research and such. There we go. Meanwhile, yep, there's the- okay, let's hope that no one fucking dies this time, now that we have firearms, because they have a ton of health. And this might get a little bloody. I mean, we seem to be holding off. No, we don't. Did the scientists stop doing their... Oh, crap. The scientists stopped doing their work because of high alert. Okay, we're just going to have to do it this way then. And hope for the... Wow, they have so much more health than I expected. All right, come on, scientists. Hurry up now. Now that I goofed it and have to fix this mess I have left behind. Oh, God. 11%. Please hurry. Well, at least... I mean, at least my guards are doing their best. I can't quite tell if they're actually making an impact here. Because I can't get an accurate count of how many enemies I'm looking at. Oh, God. Well, this is a problem. Yeah, this is a big problem. How many guards am I down to? Seven. All right, and 41 total workers. Okay. Well, that's where we're putting all our money for the moment. Just so we can get, hopefully, more people here. Oh, man, I... 
If I had known this was going to happen, I would have left some sentry guns around to help me out, but... So it goes, man. Okay, well, we got one of them down. They're down to five, it looks like. I mean, that's better than friggin' ten. We were better prepared. But there's only so much we can do, I guess. Yeah, if we can get in their face and take away their guns, then it, this will be a little easier on us. 20% research. Come on, scientists, hurry up. Okay, we've cleared the path for now. According to my timer, I'm at 30 minutes. So I'm going to have to stop here, given how slow this research is. That's not necessarily a bad thing. No, Jube is up, so at least he's going to recover. All right, hopefully we can get, get this organized. But well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. We're going to finish up the Portal DLC, move on to other loot and side stories in the next one. It's going to be a year and a half before we get back to the main story, but so it goes. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.